city where violence has become ordinary, where struggles in the suburbs now mirror those in the city. This is my city. No, this is our city. It's time we take a stand. United Way of Metro Chicago fights for the health, education, financial stability, and safety of every person in every neighborhood. Change doesn't happen alone. And to live better, we must live united. Well, Tanya and Sean, this party bus is sitting right at the entrance of Old Yale Gardens, but this is not where this shooting took place. State police telling us this bus was actually shot up on the Bishop Ford Expressway. And because of that, the right two lanes of the northbound Bishop Ford now shut down between Sibley and the Steel Bridge as state police look for shell casings related to this shooting. Now, we know two men were shot on this bus. The driver stopped here in front of Old Yale Gardens to get help. One of those men shot in the head, the other in the leg. Now, here's a closer look at the party bus that's now riddled with bullet holes. We counted at least six in the body of this bus, and that was just on one side. The windows also shattered on both sides, and it's now sitting on a flat tire. State police say this bus was shot up in the northbound lanes of the Bishop Ford Expressway near 147. The bus had several men on it who were leaving a South Suburban Gentleman's Club. The party bus came under fire right around 4.30 this this morning by individuals in an unknown vehicle. The bus driver pulled off the expressway right here at 130th and Ellis, right in front of Alt Yale Gardens to get help for those two shooting victims. Now, both state police and Chicago police ended up responding to the scene. Now, state police tell me one of those men is in critical condition. The other man, the second man who was shot, has been since stabilized. Both of those victims taken to Advocate Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn for treatment. And right now, the shooter or shooters, they are still out there. There. Reporting live from Alkyo Garden.